Hi class, uh, real quick I wanted to show you, uh, or discuss with you real quick, um, the example I posted, example 3.4, on calculating the minimum uh, input voltage uh, to saturate a transistor. Um, so in this example, um, we used the equation shown below, very large and funny looking equation, uh, to calculate this. And really it's not that uh, challenging to break apart. Um, and calculate this equation, uh, especially given this example where all the voltages are given for us. Uh, for example, V in min, okay, so this is the saturation, or the minimum input voltage required to saturate the transistor such that IC becomes saturated. And you can see first it depends on VBE, um, and VBE here is just the difference between VB and VE. Um, because VE is zero, you can see that VBE is just 0.7, or the difference between the two. Uh, next equation depends on RB. RB, RB is given here as uh, 10 kilo ohms. And RE, well, RE is usually the resistance at the uh, emitter. And right now there is no resistance because it's connected to ground. And so we can actually uh, cross out that part of the equations. RC, that's resistance at the uh, collector, which is here, 1 kilo ohm. And beta, that's given for the problem. And so every transistor will give you a beta value, um, which is given in the, in the problem statement. Uh, Vs, this is the voltage of the source. So here it's 10 volts. And VCE, that's the difference between the collector and the emitter. You can see that that is 0.2 volts. Okay, And so once we plug all these values in together, you can see the calculated uh, result is the, in, the minimum input uh, voltage to saturate the transistor is 1.68 volts. Um, what this means is, if you look at the notes, I give you a couple figures, again, where it shows the input voltage and collector current uh, plotted together. And because of VBE being 0.7, again, it takes 0.7 volts to even get a current through the collector just to get the transistor to turn on. And once it turns on, it'll eventually saturate to its maximum current, which will occur at 1.68 volts. So this calculated value is now, this is the minimum voltage, and if we have any voltage greater than that, we'll operate in this saturated region. I also included another graph in the notes as to why it's good to operate in the saturated region. So if you look at the input voltage in the um, the voltage uh, from the collector to the emitter as well as, as, well as the power. Um, the, the collector to emitter voltage, um, so what that is again, that's the difference between the voltage at the collector to the emitter. Now, if the transistor is not on and there is no current flowing, then that means the collector must be the same voltage as the source. So that means the collector has to be 10 volts. Think of it as um, if you have a pipe you know, full of some kind of resistance, some buildup. If there's no water flowing, the pressure has to be equal on both sides. Same thing here. We're, we have to start with 10 volts. And so if we plot VCE, it's going to start at 10 volts. And then gradually, it's going to, once we turn on the transistor at 0.7 volts, this, uh, this is going to remain constant and then begin to decrease to our constant 0.2 volts okay, once we saturate. So between when the transistor turns on and when the transistor is saturated, then we have this changing amount of VCE. Now VCE is um, represents the amount of 
power that's being lost in the transistor. Okay, if we're to plot power, uh, the power in the transistor, first of all, power uh, loss, if it's not turned on, nothing's being lost. Okay, but once it uh, is turned on, then we begin to uh, lose power through that transistor. And um, the power lost will be, it will increase and then decrease up to a point to where it's saturated and then level off. And so if we want to reduce the amount of power loss, then we want to operate our transistor in the saturated region because it, you know, the minimum power is zero, but that's obviously not good, it's not working. So the minimum uh, power loss uh, when it is working and functioning is in the saturated region. And so that's why we want to know the minimum input voltage to saturate a uh, transistor and operate in that saturated region. So I hope that uh, explains briefly the uh, first how to calculate the minimum input voltage as well as why we want to operate in the uh, saturated region.